All right, guys. Let me have two volunteers. Two volunteers. Two volunteers. Alex Enriquez and Hugo. Hugo, ask the questions. Alex Enriquez, respond to the question. Action. Disculpe, no escuché bien, teacher. Yes, yes. No escuché muy bien lo que dijo, que me se me cortó. Ah, ok. Quiero hacer las preguntas. Sí, eh, Hugo Carranza va a preguntar y Alex Enriquez responde. Ah. Y después Birsa Barça. Alex pregunta y Hugo va a responder. Action. Okay. Hugo. Hugo tiene que quitarle silencio a su micrófono. Gracias. Okay, thank you. How often do you travel? I usually travel to Santiago Texacuango. How often do you wake up in the middle of the night? I hardly ever wake up in the middle of the night. Of the night. Allí la pronunciación de la palabra middle, la e, es silenciosa. Lo vamos a hacer uh, middle. 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 Uh, middle. Middle, middle of the, of the night. night. Of the night. Middle. The middle, middle of the night. Okay. Wilfredo. Hi, teacher. Se nos había perdido. Ahorita están practicando <risa> Hugo y Alex. Las preguntas. Correcto. All right. Action. Ok. Uh, no, number three. How often do you go to the dentist? Hello, Alex Enriquez. No te escuchamos. Ahorita, 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 que se me ahora, ahora sí. eh, este, eh, I sometimes go to the dentist. How often do you go to the church? I usually go to church. Church. How often do you eat candies? I hardly ever eat candy. How often do you go to the doctor? I sometimes go to the doctor. How often do you say I love you to your parents? I always say I love you, you I love you to my parents. How often do you take your English food to study? I always take my English book to study. All right. Now we're going to look at vice versa. Alex asks the questions and Hugo responds to the question. Okay. Hugo, how often do you travel? I usually travel to Houston, Texas. How often do you wake up in the middle of the night? I hardly ever wake up, wake up in the middle of the night. How often do you go to the dentist? I sometimes go to the dentist. How often do you go to church? I usually go to church. How often do you eat candies? I hardly ever eat candy. How often do you go to the doctor? I never go to the doctor. 
How often do you say I love you to your parents? I always say I love you, my parents. I said, yeah, I love you to my parents. I love you to my parents. Uh -huh. I love. I How often always do you take your. Uh, I always say I love you to my parents. Ahora voy con la siguiente pregunta. How often do you take your English book to study? I always take my English book to study. <laughs> How often do you practice sports? I always practice the score. All right. Good job. Excellent pronunciation, Ugo and Alex. Excellent work, guys. Okay. Now, what we are going to do is we're going to go ahead and move forward with the next activity. Now, for the following activity, we're going to be looking at the platform. Now, for the platform, we're going to be moving on to section number 410. By the end of this class, you will read and discuss an article about special foods, develop skills in scanning and reading for details. Al final de esta clase, leerán y discutirán un artículo sobre alimentos especiales. También desarrollarán destrezas en la lectura para la detección de los detalles. Are you ready? Let's do it. Reading. Eating for good luck. Everybody repeat. Eating for good luck. <coughs> Eating, eating for, for good, luck. good luck. No, look, no, luck, luck. luck. Se escribe con luck. U, pero se pronuncia con A, como brush. Luck. 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 Eating for eating good for luck. Good luck. Mm -hmm. for eh, good luck. Quiero que le pongan ojo a la palabra eating. Ok, ayer en la clase anterior me estuvieron diciendo, teacher, ¿verdad que present continuous es lo mismo que el gerund? No, no es lo mismo. En este caso, la palabra eating no es un verbo, es un gerundio. Está, util, está siendo utilizado como un nombre, como un sujeto. No es lo mismo, yo estoy comiendo, si yo le digo, por ejemplo, I am eating, allí sí, allí es un verbo, I am eating. En el presente continuo, estoy comiendo. Pero si yo te digo, eating, eating, is my hobby. Literalmente. <laughs> Especialmente antojitos salvadoreños. I love it. So, en este caso, eating eh, no está siendo usado como un verbo. Está siendo usado como un gerundio. Es un sujeto. En la primera, I am eating, aquí sí. Aquí sí se está usando como un verbo porque lleva el verbo to be anteriormente y después se usa como verbo en el, en el verbo principal. No confunda, mande. Eh, una preguntita. Significa sí. de que en este caso... Uh -huh. Como ya deja de ser un verbo el eating, Ajá. entonces ya no ya deja de ser comiendo, sino que pasa a, a ser como comer. comer es mi hobby. That's right. Y el verbo es is. Ah, ok. Ahí está el verbo. El, el verbo es is. El verbo es is. El verbo de cero estar, porque es un hobby. Pues como que si vos decís comer es mi hobby. So, el is es el mismo es. Uh, ya no es el, ya no sería en ese caso el, el, el subject. That's right. Eh, no, el subject es eating. Ese es el subject. Ajá. Si yo te digo, por ejemplo, eh, 
levantar pesas es mi hobby. Uh -huh. Lifting weights is my hobby. Aquí, ¿cuál es el verbo? El is. Is. Is es el verbo y el gerundio es lifting. Lifting. Uh -huh. mm, no es lo yeah. mismo que yo diga estoy levantando pesas. I sí. am lifting weights. Allí ya no es gerundio. Allí Me ya es un verbo. verbo. Sí. Ajá, correcto. Ok. Ok, gracias. All right, listen to the video, please. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll read an article about special foods. You will also develop skills in scanning and reading for details. On New Year's Day, many people eat special foods for good luck in the new year. Some Chinese people eat tangerines. Tangerines are round. Round foods end and begin again, like years. It is a Jewish custom to eat apples with honey for a sweet new year. Greeks eat vasilopita, bread with a coin inside. Everyone tries to find the coin for luck and money in the new year. In Spain and some Latin American countries, people eat 12 grapes at midnight on New Year's Eve. One grape for good luck in each month of the new year. On New Year's Day in Japan, people eat mochi, rice cakes, for strength in the new year. Some Americans from southern states eat black-eyed peas and rice with colored greens. The black-eyed peas are like coins, and the greens are like dollars. Okay. Let me have one volunteer. Round foods. And I want you to read number one. One volunteer. Alex. Thank you, Alex. Read number one, please. Quítele silencio a su micrófono, Alex. Okay. Some Chinese people eat tangerines. Tangerines are around from food and and begin again like years. Very good. Thank you, Alex. Uh, at this moment, do you have any questions about this vocabulary in this section? Does anybody have any questions about this vocabulary? Uh, tangerine, tangerine, that's right. Tangerine. Okay. Tangerine, that is correct. Tangerine. Yeah. Are wrong, are wrong, bam. No, round. Around, round. no, no lleva a, solo round. 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 Tangerines are round, round foot, and, and begin again, like years. Very good. Correct. Okay, Excellent, Alex. Good pronunciation. Uh, select somebody, Alex. Select somebody. Uh, Wilfredo. Wilfredo, number two. Wilfredo, number two. Okay, teacher. Solo una pregunta. Es, esa no la puedo pronunciar. La Jewish. 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 Uh -huh. Jewish. Jewish. Okay. It is a Jewish custom to eat apple with honey for a, for a sweet new year. Perfect. Perfect. 
Does anybody have any questions about this vocabulary in this section? Okay, Hugo Carranza. Hugo Carranza. Number three. Okay. Greek speak. Uh, no, 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 eh, no, no. Eso sería Vasilopia. Vasilopia Bray. Es una palabra griega, así que ni yo la sé pronunciar bien, Bacel así que ni se preocupe. Yeah. Ajá, nadie yeah. habla griego aquí. Everyone tries to um, flow to Become, find tries to find tries to find the call call for lunch and money lunch the, or luck a uh, luck for luck luck uh-huh uh the coin for luck and money in the new year all right perfect very good all right guys time's up we gotta go. Resto les queda de tareas. Good night, guys. Good night. Bye. 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 See Bye. you Bye. tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Tomorrow. Bye. Tomorrow. Good evening. Good evening. Sweet dreams. Thank you. Good night.